So uh, we covered the elections tonight and it was a historic night. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez taking down Joe Crowley, uh, the fourth uh, most powerful Democrat in the House. Uh, we were discussing just a little while ago as we did this live uh, that it was among the four or five uh, most stunning upsets in, in, in our lifetime. Uh, and, and Michael and I have covered a, a lot of politics between us uh, and, uh, and it, just a gigantic uh, earthquake of a victory for progressives. Uh, Alexandria will be the youngest uh, female ever elected to Congress. Uh, she was a, among the first batch of Justice Democrat uh, candidates. So she basically was part of the people who began that movement. She was on the show earlier uh, and said that uh, Just Democrats and brand new Congress convinced her to run. She didn't have that idea in the first place. I told you they were good at picking candidates. So we stayed true and, and we brought that gigantic historic victory home. Alexandria was an amazing candidate. She worked for a year and a half straight knocking on doors. And we thought that might make a difference and it turns out it did for all of you who helped. And there's a lot in our audience who did, thank you, you made that happen. Ben Jealous, Governor of Maryland. I'm sorry, the Democratic nominee, I don't wanna get too ahead of myself. <laughs> and he will be running against the popular Republican Hogan in, in, uh, in Maryland. Uh, but it was a huge uh, contest between the Bernie Sanders progressive wing, which Ben Jealous was a part of, and more establishment wing there. And Ben Jealous won convincingly. Uh, so another big, big win uh, for progressives. Uh, overall, uh, just Democratic candidates went uh, uh, three and six. Uh, but boy, the two that one was uncontested and and had already locked it up in that internal struggle between in the primaries, which happens a lot. When you see uncontested, it's uh, sometimes because there was never a race, but sometimes because people dropped down because the person was doing so well. But but two of those uh, victories were enormous, as big as any race in in the primaries. So it was a wonderful, spectacular night for progressives. Many other uh, victories for our revolution and Working Families Party and, and so many, and Move On and Democracy for America, so many other groups uh, that were uh, involved in these uh, primaries. It's a giant win for the progressive movement tonight and one that was unexpected by pretty much everyone else. Uh, but, but you guys saw it from day one. You saw Alexandria's campaign on the Young Turks from day one. Uh, and <laughs> to say we've interviewed her the most is the, Greatest understatement you could make. I think we probably lapped a field in, in how many times we interviewed her and presented her to you guys. And we believe from day one, and I think a lot of you did as well. And then finally, Wolfpack um, uh, decided they were gonna go after people who uh, defeated the le their legislation to get money out of politics in Maryland and support the ones who were their champions. And they spent a, a very good amount of money doing that uh, and they won. Uh, and Antonio Hayes uh, is a champion of the people and to get money out of politics. And he will now be a state senator there. And we believe uh, that that can be the decisive vote in Maryland to put that state on the board. And the next time um, a Democratic establishment lobbyist whispers in the ear of a candidate, they should remember uh, what happened tonight uh, as Wolfpack retired yet another incumbent. Uh, and now uh, the movement to get money out of politics has become stronger. So another giant progressive victory tonight. Uh, almost as good as we could have hoped and imagined for with Ben Jealous, one of the pillars of Bernie Sanders campaigns moving on to the general election. And one of the most stunning upset victories literally of our lifetimes with Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez beating Joe Crowley. Mm -hmm. So for all you progressives out there, uh, you were right to believe.